a feat of extreme engineering in the northeast of India to construct a modern marvel. An immense workforce of more than 3,500 workmen and engineers. The engineers cannot drill and blast. They must cut their way through the mountains. A race against time to battle the elements and bring electricity to India's remote corner. A one-of-a-kind mega structure that once completed will generate an enormous 2,000 megawatt of power. This project is developed by NHPC. Extreme Tech, Patel Engineering, Marvel on the Subanchari. The impressive Brahmaputra is considered as the lifeline of the entire northeastern region of India. The largest tributary of this enormous river is Subansari, locally revered as the Gold River. A portion of it flows on the border of India's two northeastern states, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. And it is on this river that India is constructing a dam, powerhouse and labyrinth of tunnels to tap the riches of the Subansari, not in the form of gold, but electricity. In the lower Subansuri hydropower project, water will be harnessed through a maze of eight intakes, eight head race tunnels, eight pressure shafts, and finally, through large turbines and massive generators. Shakil Chauhan is the project director, helming the Patel engineering team at site. Under the guidance of project controller, Indrajit Banerjee, and supported by a team of engineers. The team's super specialty skill set has made them ready for the unique challenges. For constructing a large dam, it is required to divert the river. To make a hydropower project, there are a number of constructions to be done. Intake structure, head race tunnel, pressure shaft, tail race channel. Each of these components are a mammoth challenge on their own. For operation of a hydroelectric project, the dam creates the water pool by stopping the river. The water level rises up to the intake structure level, then water enters into the head rest tunnel through the intake structures. At the end of the head rest tunnel, it flows inside the pressure shaft where it creates pressure, and then this pressurized water uh, rotates the turbine, which ultimately rotates the rotor in the generator, and it creates the electricity. The water from the generator go out back into the river through the tail rest channel. With the concrete plan in place, the team at Patel Engineering started construction of the powerhouse where the eight turbines would be installed. When geology posed the first challenge, this gravity dam is at a height of 116 meters from the river bed level, but these powerhouse civil structures are being constructed 15 meters below the river bed. As the team prepared for the task ahead, there was a small breach near the powerhouse area. The powerhouse is the area which is going to accommodate the turbines to produce the electricity. The small breach resulted in flooding of the powerhouse area. There was a breach in the coffer wall which enables all the water come into the powerhouse pit with the, all the foreign materials. It was a very big challenge for us to remove entire water, dry the area, and then remove all the silt from the powerhouse area. And it took a lot of time to complete this job. The team emerged victorious and was ready to move ahead to start constructing the powerhouse. The whole of northeastern region of India falls in seismic active zone 5. 
this posed an almost impossible and inviolable restriction on the engineers. It was their next and possibly the biggest challenge. They cannot drill and blast to make their way through the mountains. How do you proceed ahead? That is a very big question mark. The engineers needed something special and imaginative. They had to come up with the best technology and execution methods. Drilling and blasting was out of the question, so we decided to cut the rope. Cutting was a tedious and time-taking job, but that was the only solution available with us. To make a headway through the rocks of these imposing mountains, engineers needed to chisel, grind, break the rock with special state-of-the-art cutter and breakers. With all these constraints, we decided to use the state-of-the-art machinery, the road header, which fulfills our requirement to complete the project and which also gives us the steady progress. But one cutter was not sufficient for the massive but weak rocks of the mountains. Because the rocks had different geological characteristics, the biggest challenge was to mobilize manpower from the industry which was recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Equipment suitable for construction of one of India's largest powerhouse and tunnels that needed to be deployed had a good 12 to 18 months delivery period. Tunneling consists of three stages. One is the excavation, which can be carried out by rod headers, drum cutters, wheel cutters. The primary support system in which we use shortcut machines, hydraulic jumbos for the rock support, and the permanent lining with the help of gantries. The hard work, persistence, planning, and ingenuity started to bear fruits. Tunnels were beginning to emerge in the faces of the mountains. The engineers celebrated for being on time. When the roaring sounds of the cutters fall silent, suddenly the road header cutter stopped. Delays like these are a serious threat to the project's timely completion. We expect these kind of challenges. We, Patel Engineering team, are always ready to tackle this. Tense moments prevail until the machines are again made functional. And when the whirring and roaring sounds are heard again, it is no less than a small celebration. The sum total of these small celebrations is going to make one of India's largest hydroelectric projects functional and on time, which is only a few months away. India relies a lot on its rivers. The Subansuri is living up to its legend of being a golden river. One of the largest hydroelectric dams in India is going to produce 2,000 megawatt of clean and green energy when all units are complete. Engineering in the most extreme circumstances and places is a constant challenge. Dedication and skill always prevail and technology can pave the way.
It is extreme tech that will move mountains in the face of extreme challenges.